So, all right. Well, that was fun. Uh, everyone, my boyfriend, AJ, is a wonderful human being. Uh, he's out of town right now, but he's, he's, he's afraid of being in large public spaces with lots of people, spending money on food, um, things like that. <laughs> Don't be shy, Lauren. You do. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we like to involve him in this show remotely. So we take your questions at this show and he answers them. And then we, uh, we, we, we get his answers. All right. So, Gray, can you play that Ask AJ audio? I don't think I can. I'm so sorry. I don't think we actually have an audio. It's just It's not playing? Like the, the, um, there's no audio. <coughs> Can we plug an iPod in? <coughs> like a phone? iPhone? <coughs> Can, we Can we plug it? Can we get connected? Are we 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 two variables, the first being that we're in a rain shadow from the little San Bernardino and Pinto Mountains. The rain that's headed our way falls in those higher elevations before it gets to Wonder Valley. The second variable is that we're at a relatively low elevation. Most of the high desert is at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 feet. We're down here at 1,400 feet. As you get lower in elevation, the air becomes a bit more dense and it holds heat better. My observation is we also have relatively little cloud cover, a little bit less than Joshua Tree Town or Yucca Valley. More sun hits the ground, charges everything up. We've become a heat battery. There are probably some more complex, sophisticated understandings of why we are so hot 
and Wonder Valley relative to other Mojave Valleys. I haven't seen the computational simulations on this subject, though. I look forward to seeing them, but I don't know if anybody's produced them yet. What do you think about Brexit?